Hey RVers and future RVers, behind me we've got a crazy cool RV today to show you. It's pretty sweet. The RV Suite 1 by Ibex. Yeah, it looks like a park model, but man, this thing is cool and can be towed along wherever you want to go to make it home. I'm Mikey B with Beckley's RVs. Let's get in this thing. I know we're teasing you by being outside on this pretty cool, sweet camper. We'll get to it in a minute, but I figured I had to throw out at least some cool features on this camper while we are outside before we get in. And up front is a neat storage box. They've got plenty of uh, width here to get you some big key items in there and being metal, you don't have to worry about, especially if you're traveling, anything dinging it along the way with two lockable locks on it to keep everything secure. But now we get into the real cool stuff on this camper on the outside. We've got a huge awning that spans darn near the whole length of the travel trailer, which gives us a lot of uh, space for patio party time. But then you also have your sliding patio door. Isn't this cool? It's something that you just be able to have on a campsite and overlook a lot of uh, cool scenery to be able to sit out here and enjoy mother nature. And last but not least, the best ticket item, I think on the outside of this camper, check this out this patio this back door patio again another sliding glass door a fence and patio especially if you got your furry uh, four-legged friends with you keep the screen door open open it up all the way let them uh, hang out here why maybe you guys are enjoying mother nature outside maybe do some grilling but man this is where i would be all right so we're finally inside this really cool suite the RV Suite by Ibex is brand new in the market. I'm excited to show off all the inside to you. So let's get right into it. The first control panel that I have seen that's voice activated. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And yeah, I'm a Google nut. So, you know, I, I hey, hey uh, Google, turn on my lights, turn off my lights. But this thing does exactly the same thing. Hey, Power Pro. Turn all lights off. All of the lights are turned off. Hey, Power Pro, turn all lights on. All of the lights are turned on. This is where I'd be all day just messing with it. But anyway, while we're here, let's go ahead and get into all the cool um, uh, comfort uh, features of the, of the living area. We have our TV up at the top. We have a fireplace at the bottom, so we get a nice electric heat. And I definitely, side note, no propane on board, all electric heat, which is really cool. We don't have to worry about uh, lugging around propane tanks, and especially if this is gonna be like your destination trailer, we don't have to worry about ordering propane. It's We're hooked up to electric, let's use it. Anyway, other than that, that would give me some great ambiance for this, this chase uh, seat here that I, I think is super cool. We have a couple ways to, to position, of course, if, it, if I'm just chilling out, watching a movie or doing something by myself, I definitely have uh, space here to, to uh, sit back and chill and relax. But it also does convert into a little bit more of a seating area for you. Now that way, if you had a little some, somebody extra here sitting with you, we've definitely got some space to, to enjoy, enjoy that movie. Let's convert it back before we get into the rest of the living area. All right, so right behind me, we have a couple hooks. I shouldn't say a couple, we have quite a few hooks. Uh, throw up our, um, our jackets and stuff so we can have, have this thing prepared for all climates, all season long, all year long. So we've got uh, plenty of storage that you're gonna see throughout this whole thing. I love this floating shelf that they've add, added here with the kitchen. Big, big window. And we have the ability to crack it open Man, you imagine a nice spring day just getting all this nice airflow through here as I'm preparing some meals. But a lot of counter space. We've got electric everywhere. So we can hook up all our nice kitchen uh, appliances, like a coffee pot, air fryer, that kind of thing. Big, deep uh, stainless steel bowl here that we can wash up, do maybe some prep area as well. Got everything prepped, ready to cook it. We've got a couple options here. Again, this coach is pretty much all electric. So we have an induction two uh, burner stove top here. Induction's really awesome to use. And this may look like a microwave, which it is, but it's also a convection microwave. So it's 
You guys probably know what air fryers are. Basically a convection is very similar. It uses heat to circulate uh, around whatever's in, inside and really gets you a good, good, um, good kind of browning to whatever you're doing and not zapping, doing some reheats. Look at all that space for all your pots and pans if you're gonna be doing all this cooking. Especially you pop into a campsite with this thing, it's gonna be turning heads. You're gonna have some extra guests. You better be ready for a happy hour and some, some food. We've got our storage for our, our drawers for all our kitchen utensils. And below this, as I was kind of reviewing this when it first came in, I saw a vacuum hose. That's where it goes, pretty cool. You have a foot um, um, activated place that you can sweep right in there. Or again, as I mentioned, the hose, you can hook up there and easily clean this whole, this whole place really fast. All right, Nick and I are gonna swap spaces. Let's go towards the bathroom here. Before I get to the bathroom, isn't this cool? Kind of a classic nostalgic look to your refrigerator and your freezer. But that aside, look how big it is. It's very deep. And we have uh, plenty of height here that gives us a lot of shelving to keep all our nice goodies inside. All right, let's get to that bathroom. What do you think? Pretty cool. We have a lot of windows. Again, we can open up or just have some uh, natural light coming in, but a two vessel bowl uh, uh, vanity here with plenty of plenty of storage. We've got all these drawers to use his and her uh, sinks with a lot of space around around them. And of course you have um, your electric for some of your electrical uh, uh, appliances. Storage here. Behind me, of course, is the toilet. Big shower. And we have a couple things. We have a couple uh, shower heads here. We have the, of course, the handheld here, but we have the rain shower here and even one to the side. So this is pretty much like residential. I, I'm, I'm super digging this. And then behind this door, we're not gonna have an advantage here real quick. Uh, Nick will throw in some video, but we have a combo washer and dryer that you can do. And there's plenty of space that I might even recommend uh, yanking that out eventually at some point and putting a stackable, especially if you wanna get into your big load um, uh, laundry, like maybe like your sheets, um, or maybe just have a lot of beach towels. Maybe this is a destination trailer for you. And like, a, a, like a, I don't know, lake lakeside or beachfront you'll need it all right last is super cool we're going to get into the back area here anybody working from home you work remote this is awesome so now you have a workstation kind of uh, bar set up that you can hook up throw your laptop up get some work done during the day or during at night but um, we can also obviously use this as a dinner table or a table to to seat a couple and and have a nice meal, but this is really big and open. We have the slider door behind me, big window uh, opposite here, so we can get a lot of natural light. And of course, privacy, you've got your curtain, so no fear, you don't need to show your buttons off to anybody. But lots of storage, you can throw up your, your um, throw in your closet, uh, closet items, your hanging items. We have a couple over there as well. Behind us, nope, it's not a wardrobe this is actually going to be your murphy bed so by day you have this nice awesome setup that you can use however you choose by night we're going to get rid of all this stuff bring this murphy bed down i'll show you how quick it is voila we have i think a king bed here it is wide, I just feel like it's wider. Maybe it's just this big open back space, but man, this is pretty cool. And it didn't take me, as you saw, very much to, to uh, set it up. Now, of course, I probably wouldn't advise putting your chairs outside, but just for, for uh, the video's sake, that was just the quick and easy route to do. You could obviously throw it in your living area, but each side of the head of the bed has a little cubby hole so we can throw in our, like, our phone or maybe anything that, uh, the drink or something that you may need a glass of water for bedtime. But again, bit, another big window so we can get some cross ventilation and really enjoy wherever this destination trailer or, or it doesn't have to be a destination trailer, whatever your campsite gives you. So again, all new uh, from Ibex, it's RV Suite. And this is, I think, the number one floor plan. So what do you think? Pretty cool? All right, so what was your favorite part? Maybe that Murphy bed by night and workstation by day. 
or maybe it was that bathroom, the big bathroom, washer and dryer, etc. I know mine is gonna be just shouting that, hey, Pro, uh, Power Pro, and turn the lights on and off on everybody. But anyway, super cool travel trailer, destination trailer, whatever you wanna call it, it is sweet. Again, the Ibex RV suite. Comment below on anything that you wanna dive into further because there is definitely a lot more that we didn't get a chance to cover, like the solar panel, um, tank heaters, even the size of the tanks, and certainly, gosh, all the cool little knickknack features, uh, just like even like the dimmable lights. Anyway, I'm rambling on, super excited about this trailer. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up, show us some love, smash that subscribe button. I'm Mikey B with Beckley's RVs. We'll see you at the campsites. Mm -hmm.